In this video I want to talk about the work energy theorem. In 6.1 of Young and Friedman's University of Physics we talked about what work is. One way of thinking of work in physics is that it is forced times distance or the amount of force it would take to move some mass a certain distance. In this one we want to talk about work in terms of kinetic energy. Now the work energy theorem basically says that the amount of work done is the change in kinetic energy. So if the end kinetic energy is K2 and the beginning kinetic energy is K1, then the amount of work done is K1 min or K2 minus K1, delta K, the change in kinetic energy. And so the amount of work done is closely related to the difference in kinetic energy. But what is kinetic energy? Well, kinetic energy is the amount of work it took to accelerate some mass from zero to its current speed. Or if you want to think of it another way, it's the amount of work it would take to, to take the mass moving at a certain speed to rest. Either way, the amount of kinetic energy is, is the amount of acceleration, as it were, that's in the mass. Either how much acceleration it took to get it to that speed, or the amount of acceleration uh, force it would take, or amount of work it would take uh, to get it uh, from its current speed to, to rest. Uh, kinetic energy is never a negative number. It can be zero when the when something's at rest, but it's always it's a scalar quantity. It's going to always uh, be positive if it's not zero. So, what's the formula for kinetic kinetic energy? The formula is one half m v squared. One half the mass times the square of the velocity is the kinetic energy. Where where does this formula come from? You don't necessarily need to know where it comes from, but here's where it comes from. But one of the ways to formulate acceleration is acceleration is one-half v squared divided by s, or divided by the distance. We get that formula from finagling with, you know, in chapter two, uh, or whatever physics books you might be use, using, there, uh, there are a number of different ways of finagling the formulas in relation to time and velocity and acceleration and distance and so forth. So at the beginning distance is zero, and the be beginning velocity is zero, and it is, since we're talking about uh, kinetic energy as the amount of energy to get something from zero to whatever. So acceleration can be formulated as one-half v squared divided by the distance. Now what is a force but a mass times acceleration? So then we have one-half mv squared divided by the distance. All we have to do is get rid of the distance, and since work uh, is force times distance, then the distance in the top cancels out the distance in the bottom, and we're left with one-half mv squared. So kinetic energy is one-half mv squared. The work uh, energy uh, formula uh, is, again, the work energy theorem uh, is the amount of work done is the difference in kinetic energy. And this will become important in later uh, applications.